I beg your pardon, I beg your pardon, I beg your pardon. Hey, we're five seconds live in to the live already and uh, nothing's happened. That's how lives start. We build on nothing and then something is built upon the nothing. Hey, hello everybody. Really nice to uh, see you today. It's nice we have this moment to chill together and as we chill i'm actually going to build a ukulele that's the program today that is very true <laughs> so feel free to chip in with all your comments as it's happening and i'll read all of them because you know that's what uh building a ukulele enables you to do is uh, to have a look at a screen sometimes uh this ukulele today's program is uh, a kit one i'm not building it from scratch it's the harley Benton. Rose Acre, Rosacher, or Rosacre. It depends what country you come from. You can pronounce it however you prefer. <laughs> and uh, I had a, a peep in, so it's already open. And once you've taken off the upper box, you get a kit. So this is, in fact, a ukulele kit that uh, you can also have fun with. Now, what I would advise you to do is not have to sneeze on, on the knives. <laughs> okay, now we're live. <laughs> what I'd advise you to do is to actually um, paint the ukulele before you get started. That way you don't have to put any sellotape on the different parts to really angle your brush strokes or your color. But uh, I'm going to paint it later actually. I'm going to go against my first piece of advice. And hello nobody. <laughs> there are people watching. It's just somebody called nobody maybe you've seen her him in the um, in the comments now what's quite interesting here first and foremost and that's I think the most important that's why I want to mention it at the start let's open this this is the body of the ukulele so uh, it's kind of um, a fun thing to do because of course the quality is not going to be uh, the most exceptional ukulele make that you've ever seen in your life it's a kit so you can also do it with kids if you accompany them. Now, what you want to notice here is these two little holes. They're quite important. They're where we're going to place the bridge that's going to hold the strings. And then we're going to put the neck here. Boop, boop, also. And that's your ukulele. And we can also glue this on the neck. Oh, let's take it out already, actually, um, with the delicatesse. And on top of all the little gear, that you've got the strings and the knobs and bridges and frets and bones, not frets, and bone nuts. You've also got an incredible, very surprising <laughs> amount of uh, paper. And it's a user manual and that's all that's in the box. Now the box is empty. We've got user manual, Bedingungsanleitung, if you speak, um, you know, mid-European and uh, another user manual so I think there's an issue here they gave me two user manuals maybe they had a spare they thought Ben tends to misplace things let's give him a second one <laughs> that's possible and um, I've already built one so I can also give you feedback as I go along um, it's quite a bit of text uh, I haven't read it all um, although it's not that much text, but maybe embarrassingly, that's how used to reading I am nowadays. <laughs> no, no, I can read, I can read. So let's have a look at uh, how this is going and let's get started. Yes, it is a DIY ukulele. Building a ukulele live, ah, I could have put it DIY in the title, that's true. So uh, let's, just, let's just get going. I think uh, the, the book suggests first Assembly instructions, safety, scope of delivery, assembly, yeah, first uh, the neck, gluing neck and body, and then fretboard, and then nut that goes at the top of the um, neck, and then the machinery, the little bits, and uh, then we should be good to go with a bit of string in, string in, string in. So I'm going to string you along for this one, and feel free to chip in with whatever you want to mention. Uh, right, big deal, this thing. 
On the last one, I had these two holes were a little bit high, and so I had to get measuring tape out and then adjust these so that the intonation would actually be a bit mm, better throughout the bridge, throughout the whole fretboard. So we'll see, but we will measure, and that's quite an important part of the process with uh, kits because, um, yeah, you just want to double check and it'll also help you know how ukuleles are, ma are made, which is quite interesting. Okay, what you do need is a screwdriver and some glue. Now, it's not like IKEA, they don't give you the stuff <laughs> with the package. This is, uh, they, they just assume because they're German, you see this brand, they just assume everybody's got glue and a screwdriver at home, which I suppose, fair enough. And it's true, all Germans probably do have that at home, including one of these, you know, with all sorts of tools. But, uh, yeah. So, you can see there's already two little bits in here that have been uh, placed. Let me see if I can zoom in. And then, now we're just going to take the bridge with the two little holes and just pop that in. And it fits. Let's put some glue on there. I just remembered. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do, is also glue them on. Oh, so, I've got this glue, which is... I don't know, just a generic uh, glue from the supermarket. It's very plasticky. Not sure about the smell, but uh, it, it is what it is. Okay, so a bit of glue here, a bit of glue on top here. That sounds good enough. And then I can pop this little bit of wood there. Pop. All right, I forgot a towel because I always put glue on my hands. And then I'm just going to pop the glue on this side. Whoop which that might be too much. <laughs> and they also advise you to use headbands and clamps so you can really hold the position firmly while it's setting. I don't have any of those. So this is also a video to show you, what? don't do that. Goodness gosh, don't do that. <laughs> Whoops. Well, that was hilarious. If you realize what happened. <laughs> I put it the wrong way around. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Imagine that. Sound hole one side, fretboard the other side. How does that work? Yeah, that wouldn't be the best. Let's just hold this there for a little while. And actually, I should probably get some paper for the excess. Anybody got some paper? Just pass it along. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, because uh, sometimes I do have to wait for the glue to set, yeah, tell me about your plans for the summer. I want to I wanna hear about those. Yeah. Hopefully, it <laughs> if nobody shares their plans for the summer, this sets really fast. It's supposed to, I think. What does it say? It says... 10 minutes. Ooh, 10 minutes. That's too much. Well, if it says 10 minutes, probably 5 is fine. And if 5 is fine, I'm sure 2 is plenty. So... No problemo. Oh, nobody's saying practice ukulele. That's a funny joke. Somebody is saying practice ukulele is one of the plans for the summer. <laughs> hmm, how mysterious to be called nobody. Oh, ah, here there's a bit missing, I guess. There could be a bit more. Hey, this seems like it's, okay, not set. <laughs> oh boy, I hope this works, and if it doesn't, the live will be interrupted, and then I'll have another video saying, Hey, I stopped the camera, and I finished it, <laughs> and this is the result. Hopefully, we can finish it today. Obviously, that's the, uh, that's the aim. Well, maybe if I'm holding this, I can also just uh, also hold the fretboard with glue onto it. But there's something quite important to know of. Uh, all right. All right. That's it. Uh, okay, let's just empty all this stuff. The distance from the nut here to the bridge, when it's divided by two, it has to be fret 12. So fret 12 is, should be right in the middle of fret 13, sorry. Fret 13, well, the, no, the 12th fret, yeah, that makes sense. 
sorry, <laughs> should be right in the middle between this bridge and this bridge, this piece of bone or plastic and this piece of bone or plastic. So let's just have a look at the measurements. I'm just going to take this one. Now you can see we've got two uh, white bits. They're sometimes made of bone here, they're plastic. You can see this is this one has got the little things in. This is obviously going to be for the top of the um, neck and this is going to be for the bridge at the bottom. Whoops! So you want to make sure also that you've got it not like this. Oh, could you uh, help me out camera? Not like this with the holes, you know, with the holes on this side, that's for the strings. You want to turn it so you can have this little white thing up here and then the two holes <laughs> two holes underneath here and that's the side you want to go with okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna screw these in while I'm still holding the neck by the way this is dedication um, with two little whoop uh, screws. Uh, which screws am I supposed to use? <laughs> oh, Sand Lab says it took her month or him. I can't see the picture. Her, I think. Months to finish yours. But oh wait, I'm not building it myself. This is a kit. It's already it's pre-built. It's IKEA ukulele, except it's from Toman, the brand. <laughs> oh well, Sand Lab. Um, yeah, it took months, she says, but not because of the glue needing so much time to dry. That's hilarious. Uh, okay, I'm not sure which screw to use here. Maybe I'll just use any any of them. Maybe it's the black one. That would make more sense. Oh boy. Anybody? Anybody's got a tip on that? Gluing the nut. That's the top bit. Gluing the neck and body. No, that's not what I want. I want the later thing. So it should be 35 millimeters between the end of the bridge saddle and the ukulele. And I put some sort of <laughs> sewing measuring tape over here because I've lost the automatic one. So I can have a look. 35 millimeters. So basically we should have between the, if, if this is placed perfectly in this way, well, I'll just tell you, you don't need to see all of the details. I should have 35, oh, is that a centimeter? I hope it's not one of those weird American things where it's a sort of semi-inch or something. Inch, this doesn't say, I'm just going to hope it's centimeters. And this is too much. 35, aha, uh -huh. so it should be, oh, let me mark that with a, Whoa. yeah, it seems like it's a bit high, so I'll just screw it a bit lower over here, this thing, let's go, party time. Now, I appreciate you can't see, but I'm going to show you in just one little moment what's actually going on. Hmm. <laughs> Sand Lab is not good with measuring either. No, me neither. And I've lost um, all the important stuff. Maybe I should just show the table. Okay, let's do that. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Table time. Hey. Okay, so. Yeah, it does seem like that is in centimeters. Thanks for the tips as this is happening, as this is going along. Ah, this doesn't seem like it's uh, really gluing. Hmm, maybe the glue is old. <laughs> I don't know. Don't, don't sniff the glue. That's just a little bit of advice there. 
because it's not really um, not really getting there, is it? Hmm. It's a bit of a bother. Okay, so on the adventure of which screws to use to put in the ukulele, that is the question. Mounting the bridge, inserting the saddle. The bridge is to be glued and fixed with the two long screws on the sandboard, but I couldn't find long screws. I've got three. Ah, probably it's the three long ones then. Okay. Here we go. 35 millimeters. And there we go. A bit of glue. Oof. Bit of glue on the Saddle, 35 millimeters, and we're good to go. Okay. <laughs> I'm questioning the sanity of uh, my decision to live stream this, but uh, sometimes you just need to, you know, pull through. Whoops. Well, this isn't the right screw, is it? That's weird. Oh boy. Okay. Ah, I know. Screwdriver's too big. Try and have a little one. Uh, as it turns out, whoops, this one. This one. Uh, ah, there we go. As it turns out, this one, too big. This one, just right. Let's do this. Some uh, guitars actually have screwed on necks, so you don't glue the neck or piece the neck together, but you actually screw it. And some uh, guitars, electric guitars, have bolted on, so it's like a big bolt going poof <laughs> through the wood and um, having that sort of hold the neck and the body together, which is a very important uh, part of uh, the building the ukulele because obviously that's where a lot of tension is going to be it's the two big pieces that are fitted together hey we've got a french person in the chat hello francois what a perfect name for a french person abroad too because then you signal your name and your nationality They're very practical <laughs> Oh, that's good. Sand Lab prefers watching me than building one. Well, I think I might prefer watching you build one than building one myself. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's fun. The only thing I'm concerned about is my, uh, my glue. Probably at the top wasn't very good. Ah, uh, let's try again. Bit more glue, please. Let's go. Okay. And hold. Uh, I do need some paper, though. Uh-oh. Okay. And hold. Oh, boy. Good thing I'm going to I'm going to paint this later. Hey. Okay, so I'm holding it down and any excess of uh, glue, hopefully you can wipe down with some sort of paper or sponge or something that's not actual paper because <laughs> that's a hassle but uh, I'm also doing this video to show you that you don't need you know a special setup you can sort of groove your way through it and probably it will be all right so my main mission here is to show you you can do it with kids I've done one with a child it worked fine the only thing was then the painting I got a bit attached to my ideas, to my color schemes, and then it just went full brown, lots of brown, everywhere brown. That was not my plan. <laughs> okay, let's glue the thingy. The, uh, the frets, actually the frets in a lot of ukuleles are sort of hammered in and then measured and hammered in and measured and hammered in, but that's a hassle if it's a kit. So. Of course, it's one piece of wood. Uh, where's it gone? 
Where's it gone? Hmm. François, that would be Où est mon morceau de bois? That's the French version, and the one you can help me with is What? Where's my Where's my fretboard? I've lost my fretboard. Okay, this is time. I'm gonna have a little walk. Walking around looking for the fretboard. Oh boy. Can you see it? No? Alright. Well, I cannot see it either. I do not know <laughs> where the fretboard is. This is weird. Very strange. Very strange. Penny Lane is in my ears and in my heart. Here beneath the room. Penny Lane. Oh boy. Ah, it was under this stuff, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, indeed, it would be useful, Sand Lab. And uh, I got it. <laughs> so we just want to measure the distance. Okay, this is quite important, actually. I'm just going to move you. That's the microphone. These are your ears right here. Um, what's quite important is that um, basically the distance from the top of the fretboard to fret 12 should be the same distance as fret 12 to this piece of wood that, that we've glued already, the, um, the saddle nut, sort of the bridge. Really. Okay, so measuring tape. Where's the measuring? It's over here. Okay, so we want to measure this. Probably this is where this is going to go-ish. It looks like that's about the spot. And then we want to measure. Let me show you. It's a bit more exciting if you can see. Okay. Well, now we want to measure from here to here. Oh, I mean, yep, slightly sideways my bridge, but uh, nobody will notice that. So I've got 37 and a half. So what's half of 37 and a half? Half of 37 and a half. <laughs> okay, okay, let's take this. Uh, it's sort of 18 and three quarters. Is it 18 and three quarters? Qu qu <laughs> Somebody with a calculator over here. I'm talking to you, microphone. 13 and a half. Wait, oh, this is moved now. Oh. Oh boy, 13 and a, oh it's, is it 38 now? One, two, oh, it's 37 now. Ah, how'd that happen? Okay, it's 37, half of 37. Well, that's easy because <laughs> it's three and a half plus 15. So it's 18 and a half. So you should be, ah, oh, lower down it says, that's odd. Ah, oh, maybe the holes were actually in the right position. Well, the good thing is I can still move them. So... Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is unpractical. Oh boy. I did not think all of this through. 18 and a half. So, what's the distance from here to here? That's the distance of this thingy. Fret 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12. Oh, that's all the frets. Is 18 and a half. 18 and a, no, sorry, 17 and a half. And so we should have another 17 and a half from here to here. 17 and a half. Well, that doesn't make any sense. My calculations, ah, uh, no, because it's from here to here. It's from fret 11 to fret. Well, that's even worse. I don't know what's going on. So this should be. Oh boy. This should be. So that's 17 and a half. And this should be 
17 and a half. That doesn't make sense. Then the thing would be that. Okay, I'm confused now. <laughs> hmm, tricky. Okay, well, I don't know what I'm doing. I think what happens is people who actually take the time to read the full book get a better, fuller picture. The good thing is, you don't only have to watch this tutorial to build your ukulele, you can actually read what they send you. And it's very interesting. There's all sorts of bits and bobs. But let me just uh, read to you what they say about the measurements. Hmm, and I'm not sure why I glued the saddle now. That seems like a mistake. Should have just screwed it in. Why glue and screw? You know, it doesn't really allow for mistakes. Yeah. So... Well, I'll just do a new type of measurement where this comes here. I'll just move this so it, it makes sense. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and trust myself. I think we don't do it enough. And that means you, who's watching, you have to go out today and trust yourself. You know, like, against better judgment. You can go, no, I'm sticking with my guns. Um, okay, centimeters, let's go. <laughs> so this is obviously going to be... But I don't get it, because there's no zero. Why is there no zero when you start measuring? It should start at zero. Apparently this thing counts with starts with one. So this is seventeen and a half. And I need seventeen and a half here. Oh, that's gonna be weird though. Okay. I need seventeen and a half here. So seventeen and a half here to fret twelve. Ah, but that's what I've got if I move it all the way here. Oh boy, that's gonna be that's gonna be embarrassing. Okay, let me see if I can change this. <laughs> and I'll just pop it in those holes that were there already. Oh boy. Okay. Hopefully I can slide this around. So I'm I'm hoping the glue is terrible that I've got. So I think yes, it is pretty bad. Way I have shit glue. Sorry, I have sort of questionable glue. Okay. So you go in the pre-made hole. Basically what happened was I was building a concert and the holes were a bit off and so I just assumed the holes would, were off with this one but it seems uh, I'm a bit off thinking the holes are off because they seem fine actually. Whey. Let's just do it the way it was supposed to. That's a bit reassuring actually. Okay. And now we can do the measurements again. Uh, what I didn't do last time, actually, is I glued this on first without measuring. I just thought, let's glue this down. There you go. <laughs> Whereas now, actually, if I just use the pre-made holes and then measure and then glue, I think there's something much more reassuring about that. Oh. Uh, and secure. I just figured it out. <laughs> Sometimes when you trust yourself, it's important to be able to change your mind. <laughs> you know, it's all very nice and good having self-confidence, but sometimes you just need to look at the evidence. So, and reach a compromise, which is what this is. You know? Oh boy. However, this is not... Uh ideal the way it's not sticking okay time to measure again okay measurement time well i hope you're ready uh, i do have a finished version of this if you want to have a look and then leave <laughs> i think nobody's asking uh it does it sound nice i think my measurements were a tiny bit off so it sounds lovely it sounds fine, a bit like a uh, $30 ukulele. Uh, but the notes go a bit off when you reach 7th, 8th, ninth fret. Because I didn't do this, I didn't measure. So, let's measure. 17 and a half should be here. 
should be here. So 17 and a half. Whoop, this should be really. Oh, that's a bit high still. 17 and a half. That's a bit low now. Like this, perhaps. Oh. Yeah, 17 and a half. This seems about right. I'll just use a pencil. Just pretend this is a pencil and sort of mark it. Yes, because I don't have a pencil. I'll just mark it here. And actually what I can do is already grab the knot of the headstock. Where's it gone? I've lost it. Have you seen the, it's a little white thing? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, ah, here it is. It was just there. You knew. <laughs> yeah, I think the fun part is to decorate it. The fun part is really to uh, gr grab some crayons or some paint and um, maybe with uh, some kids or just by yourself, just a relaxing activity, just draw something beautiful on your ukulele and enjoy drawing on wood that will then sing later on. That's really fun. Um, I think decorating it yourself is a really nice part of it. Uh, and this should go hop, like this, or like this. No, like this. Let me check another ukulele. Yes. <laughs> Uh, but I will actually, I will glue the headstock first. The, sorry, not the headstock, the... This thing, whatever it's called. Fretboard! The fretboard! F, F, B, F, T, W. Fretboard for the win! Ah, oh, there's some more holes here. What's that for? That's weird. Am I supposed to, uh, do something here? I'm gonna go ahead and think no it's fine <laughs> okay so I've just adjusted it my line is just here what well, as you can see well, oh I'm using a little book to hold this actually uh, but uh, my line is just here and I'm just holding it down hopefully it sort of holds so I can just let it um, act and I'll just take a bit of glue Tidy this up. Oh boy, it's moving all about. Okay, note to self, get a non-crappy glue from a shop somewhere. Now, I think that's what happens with glue is you think it's good, you use it once, and then it stays in the pot maybe for a little while, and then it's not that, uh, it's not that fantastic. But... Um, In the words of uh, an amazing girl I met one time, we just chatted, she was from Brazil, I think. And, uh, oh, maybe this, does this go in there? That'd be weird. Does this, are these holes for this? That'd be really weird. I just noticed two little holes underneath the fretboard here. And there's two little holes on this thing. Do they think we should... The knot is to be glued above the fretboard. Apply glue on both surfaces. Put the nut on the neck and fix it to dry the adhesive joint with rubber rings on the neck. All oh, right. I don't have rubber rings, so I'm just going to pop this in. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Wait, what? Don't move my fretboard. Wait, there's a bit of excess glue moving about. So what I have to do is um, to tidy it up a bit. Because if it dries, then it's going to be a bit of a bother. Oh. Obviously, if somebody could just sort of email me some actual paper rather than cardboard Amazon box filler, that would be very much appreciated. Hop. Oh. But actually, if there's a little bit of glue here, it won't bother me for playing because I press my fingers here and the glue is going to be right next to, to this thing. So, no bother. Hey, I think this is not too bad. Let us just measure what's going on. Here we've got, hopefully, 17 and a half. Whoop. Oh, no, it's something else now. What? 
Oh no, that's it. It's because there's no zero. Oh boy. Come on, people, you need to use the zero. It's really important for maths. You know, thank you know, don't don't let uh, the gifts of uh, of India go to waste. Oh, and this is a little bit high. Ah, that's interesting. Okay, let's push it up a bit, people. Okay. There we go. Huh, actually, if I hadn't measured and just done it the way it's built, I would have it would have been the same. Actually, this time, maybe I should just trust <laughs> stuff. You know, I, uh, this is exactly how they were indicating I should place stuff. And without measuring, you know, you put this white thing where it's is started to get flat here. And yeah, that's the idea. Uh, also, because uh, this thing is moving about. Oh boy. Okay, well, I think it just needs to uh, to dry. Hey, but we've got uh, the start of a ukulele, as you can see. Hey, it looks like an instrument now. <laughs> I mean, that's something. Uh, the glue that I have, that's the question in the comments. Where's it gone? Oh, boy. Ah, here we go. It's uh, neoprene glue, and it says here it's for shoes, for fixing shoes. I've never fixed a shoe with it. It's for leather. Yeah, so that's an idea. Maybe get a glue for wood. I mean, that's just a suggestion. Hey, a little few, a few comments in here. You got some stickers on your ukulele. Some people said it's not good. They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> a stick is tiny. So what, what they're saying is that uh, the fact you put a stick on your ukulele might stop the wood from vibrating. Well, that's true a little bit. But if you put like a little butterfly on your ukulele, that's absolutely fine. Also, it depends a little bit on if your ukulele is solid wood, the top, I mean, where you put the stickers. And actually the back in size also. Is it solid wood or is it laminated wood? Because actually laminated wood tends to vibrate anyways. <laughs> it's less picky. It's less, uh, it's a bit more easygoing, laminated wood. Um, that's why if you play with your arm on the ukulele, sort of hugging it, it's better to have a laminated wood ukulele than a solid wood ukulele because the solid wood vibrates beautifully and that's why people love it but actually it stops vibrating much easier than laminated which is lots of little um, sheets of wood glued together so if you stop one sheet it doesn't stop the other sheets as well as if it was just one solid block of wood so I used to think solid is better laminated is cheaper it's not like that if you're walking around like me playing a ukulele sometimes you may favor um, a laminated wood ukulele um, like my Oscar Schmidt OU8 T. However, I've thoroughly enjoyed walking around with solid top ukulele. Solid top means the front is solid wood. Like my flight, the Victoria flight. That's a great ukulele. Um, and uh, it's a bit, uh, yeah, different now, but uh, lovely, lovely instrument. Your ukulele isn't wood, it feels like plastic, says nobody. Oh, well, that's because uh, it's wood, it's like this, and then they've put a color on it that's sort of plasticky. So you can put a thousand, <laughs> a thousand million stickers on there, well, I mean, a thousand stickers on there, and the sound will still be the same, no problem. Yeah, it does explain it. Yeah, so get a, get a wood for glue, maybe try and be a bit specific in your purchases. Uh, small. Uh, screwdriver, cross screwdriver, you know, those Phillips ones, and uh, actually just trust however it's built. Now I remember what I did, and this was the big mistake that I did with the, with the tenor. I can show it to you, actually. Um, is that... Oh, wait. What? The big mistake I did with the tenor was that this thing here, the white nut, I put it where the ukulele was still going up. So you can see here there's a part that's going up and then it's flat here. And I put it on the little bit that was still going up. And you're supposed to put it on the flat bit where it starts being flat. So that's what I've done this time, sort of, almost. <laughs> uh, just a tiny bit down from there. But uh, probably shouldn't have, because um, let me measure again and then we'll be sure. Last measurement. Last orders, is this still 17 and a half? 
yeah, sort of actually, it's 17.4. And this guy here is now 17.6. Oh, let's push it back down a bit. That's the great thing with terrible glue. You're allowed to make mistakes. <laughs> yeah, okay. And now I'm happy. Hey, fantastic. Well, actually, let me show you one that I've made before. A bit like in kids' shows. Mm. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, the ukulele's on the table, it's drying, and it seems like it's gonna take a while, but here's one that I made earlier. <laughs> so, you can see uh, it went a bit out of control with brown there, but I did try and then sort of carve a tree of life in the brown paint. And uh, you can see the blue touches, that's why. I... So I did it with a child, and the child wanted it all brown at some point, which I found a little bit triggering. But then we all sailed those waves and um, accepted what was going on. And so we've got brown and blue, and some colors everywhere. So as you can see, I painted it after putting it together. And I, I have a, you know, a soft spot for chaos and mess. <laughs> so that's just how I chose to do that. But uh, of course, chaos and mess are not always uh, recommendable. So feel free to draw on it and, and uh, paint on it and um, beautify it with love before you put it together. And then when you use glue, wooden glue, when you also apply the glue, then you stick it together with um, clamps or elastic bands to hold it together. You can also use a bit of paper to take away the excess uh, the excess glue there, let me give you a little demonstration of how this sounds. Thirty-one euros on Amazon, a walnut wood ukulele says Sand Lab. Hey, that's not bad, that's alright. Uh, walnut is nice. I think it's quite good because it's, it's probably... Walnut is European so it doesn't have to travel too much around the world, I guess. Uh, unless they ship it back. I don't know. So you can hear it's a bit mellow because there's some paint on the strings. So unlike stickers on a 20 euro ukulele, paint on strings, that will muffle the sound a little bit. Sitting on the, sitting on the what? Sitting on the, oh boy, I'm forgetting my own songs. Sit, ah, oh, edge. Sitting on the edge of something. <laughs> quite nice from a distance it's a bit like a Monet tableau right because it, it doesn't make any sense when you're up close um, but I, well it does maybe a little but it's nice from a distance <laughs> yeah. well I hope this was something I'm not gonna say you know any other adjectives <laughs> or adjectives at all I hope it was something and thank you for the company and this was something. <laughs> smile, smile and wave, smile and wave, smile and wave. Am I happy now to go from the old culture capital? Uh, yes and no. It's funny for if you know Romania, this one, but uh, that's where I wrote it. Because, 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 because. All that stuff, all that jazz. All that I know and that I've learned and smile and wave. Ah, smile and wave, smile and wave, smile and wave. Hey. <laughs> okay, enjoy your day everybody. Ah, nice nice uh, nice comments going on there. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the end result of this one which looks like a ukulele, but I would be a bit concerned to start screwing the mechanical parts because I feel like this hasn't set yet with my leather glue. <laughs> okay, keep well everybody.